made in 1858, 59, but a really, really long time ago. And it's a famous cafe in Buenos Aires where they have tango shows, they play tango music while you have dinner. And you can also come in for a coffee or a drink throughout the day like, if you just want to see this place. It is so now, something that I was going to say was that I'm super amazed that here in Argentina when you order something for dinner or lunch or at a restaurant in general, no one writes anything down and they memorize your entire order, which I think is awesome. We went to a restaurant once where we ordered a whole bunch of things, changed a bunch of things, cancelled some things, ordered extras of other things, and the guy was like, yep, 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 not writing anything down. And he had the order totally correct without writing anything. Ooh. So we were just having a coffee at that cafe and when we get out the car is gone and it looks like we parked it somewhere where we weren't supposed to even though it looked like we could and they towed it away so we need to go and grab it now. I am so sweaty right now, oh my gosh. The um, My memory card filled up with my camera so I'm film filming on my phone but they're in the office now and the car is down here and everything's fine. Uh, we're gonna go to the car in a minute where my memory cards are at so I can film some more today. But yeah, everything's fine. Oh my God, I am so sweaty, that's disgusting. I mean, if you just look around at the views, you can see why they call it that because this place is just incredible. A beautiful sunset behind us and we were just taking photos like right here so I can't wait to go through them because I'm really happy with how they all turned out. Oh, oh my god, I'm almost done. There's like a crazy like kids party going on downstairs. Apparently stuff happens on this street all the time so that's a word of warning if you want to stay on the main street of Buenos Aires is that there's Protests, parties, road closures, who knows, there's like always something random happening here. We had an emotional goodbye with Nestor and Marissa. They are driving back to Mar del Plata now, another four and a half hours back home. I appreciate that they took us around because they gave us a, a room in their home to sleep in and they fed us and showed us everything that this beautiful country has to offer. Like I said before, we were overwhelmed with emotions on this trip and this trip has been insanely emotional and rewarding and such a crazy learning experience. I, for me and my dad are just resting at the moment. It was super hot walking around the streets like he's gonna take a shower, I'm gonna get ready and at sunset we're gonna go out and yeah I mean we're in Buenos Aires. I can't believe it. <laughs> A, we're gonna have a typical porteño night, which is uh, going to have dinner at 9 p.m. and staying up late because <laughs> it's our last night that we can do that here in Argentina. Right now we're in the center, center, center of Buenos Aires with the obelisco and we have a whole bunch of signs here which looks like Times Square in New York. It's beautiful and there's so many people out. It's, ah, oh, I love this. <laughs> My dad is recording, no, taking a long exposure photo and using this sign as a tripod. This here is the Teatro Colón, which is the theatre. And here you can come and see opera, ballet, and like shows in that sort of... <laughs> you can come and see my dad perform. <laughs> as a ballerina. It is such a beautiful building. Wow. <laughs> My dad's like running across the street trying to get the perfect shot of the building. 
Look at all the lights that they have to light up the theater. We got the Angelito cake, which is the, the cake this place is known for. I assume because it's named after the place. I don't know. Here we are in Calle Corrientes, which is a just a long street full of restaurants, shopping. Pizzerias, coffee shops. Yeah, pizzerias, coffee shops. It reminds me a lot of Hollywood, to be and honest. bookshops. Yeah, and lots of bookshops. And lots of theatres, too. There's lots of shows. This is the pizza that we ordered. We ended up getting the Super Guarceta pizza. I would say this is the cheese we ordered. <laughs> more cheese and toppings than pizza. <laughs> it looks good. My dad and I made it back home after spending the night walking around Buenos Aires. It was a really, really good night and we're home now. I'm gonna take a shower because it was super hot today. It was, yeah, it was kind of gross. <laughs> And tomorrow we're gonna wake up and spend the whole day doing stuff again. I'm super excited to to see Buenos Aires again by foot this time because me and my dad are on our own. <laughs> uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!